Hello, I'm Avinash. Good day to all of you. Welcome back to my channel. So if you consider northern direction, then we may have two, the good part of it and the bad part of it. The bad part of it that we have discussed, those are groundwater radiations. And the second part, which is also very important, which we are missing nowadays, is earthing. So these are the two important attributes. Whereas <coughs> this is very bad for us, this earthing is one of the best thing for us. But unfortunately, we do not do anything of this. We neither check for groundwater radiations, we neither check for earthing. Now, what's earthing? Earthing is nothing but <coughs> touching the ground. Earthing is nothing but touching the ground. You do it when you go down to a temple. You do it when you go down to a mosque. You do it when you go down to a church. Some part of the body, we touch to the ground. And that touching to the ground, maybe in other words, being barefoot, touching to your feet to the ground, itself is earthing. Now, <clears throat> this unfortunately is not there at all in the modern part. So let us talk about earthing. So we'll talk about earthing. In other words, human earthing. Now human earthing is being barefoot, touching the ground. You might have seen Lord Buddha touching the floor. That's called as the Bhumi Sparsha Mudra. It is said that <coughs> if when he got enlightenment, at that time the witness was the ground or earth was the witness that he attained enlightenment. If you see from a different angle, Lord Buddha worked for removing sufferings, sufferings of people. Now, if you look from a different angle, then you'll be finding that just touching the earth may reduce lots of sufferings. That may be the message which now we find that it is really worth it. Now, why do we say so? Because all of you know, or you may not know, <coughs> because we have, we are an electrical being. We, our body is electric. Most of the time we are working on chemical basis. So every cell has a potential. And that potential in each cell is around 70 millivolts. Now, <clears throat> because of the environment which is there, maybe a lot of electrical environment, a lot of mobile environment, a lot of radiations which are coming from different, different parts, our body gets charged. Another thing is, as we go higher in different floors, higher from the ground floor, from the earth, at that time also, there's a lot of built up of the electricity in our body. For example, your, your fan or maybe any of your electrical gadget is working at say maybe 240 volts or in some cases 110 volts. If you give a current of 11 
100 volts to that device, what is going to happen is going to burn. But in human system, it's happening in a very slow manner. Because we are getting the built up inside our body going high continuously. Our body electricity goes on increasing and that has been proved by Guyton and many other scientists who have been working in this particular area. Most of the time, even now, we study, study the chemical aspects of our body and try to give medicines which are chemical based. Very rarely, we study the physics basis of our body. There are some studies wherein if you give electric current to a particular part of the body, even bone growth can happen. Leaving that apart, what we are trying to say is the major benefit which we are missing nowadays is that we are not touching the earth. And just because we are not touching our, the earth, whatever the built up is there of body electricity in us, that is not getting dissipated to the earth. You all know that all electrical gadgets have an earthing point. Now that earthing point, if it is not there, then you may get heavy current and you may get a shock. Or all the, all the excess current, maybe a lightning or any other part which is there, is taken down to the earth. So earth is a major sink. And what our people have told right from the beginning, maybe Lord Buddha or any other people that you go on, touch the ground, is basically dissipating the electricity. Even when we go around a temple, they tell you to go around the temple before entering the ha, main sancto sanctum. Why? Because they want you to be earthed. Once you are earth, your body electricity becomes normal and that you have to do daily for minimum of half an hour. How do you do that? You go down <coughs> to a lawn, remove your shoes, keep your legs on the lawn or go down in a mud, remove your shoes, put your legs into the mud which is there. As I told you for the east direction, carry on yoga in the open, barefoot, all hands, palms and the complete body touching the earth. And that too, if you do morning salute in the morning with sun salutation, you are going to get the maximum benefit. So from that point of view, earthing forms the major part and it saves or it saves you from lot of diseases which may trouble you in one form or the other because of the build up in the electricity in your body. So maybe during that time, Bhumi Sparsha Mudra of Lord Buddha was to tell the people that you touch the earth and your suffering would go. Similarly, going down to a temple and carrying out the Pradakshina barefoot because chapels are not allowed in temples nor in Gurudwaras or other places is basically for the earth. And what is the benefit? Even today, if you do not earth yourself properly, if you do not earth yourself properly, there is inflammation of your tissues. In other words, the inflammation goes on in complete part of the body. And if you see the recent studies related to inflammation, it is found that even in COVID, what is happening is inflammation. But we are not earthing ourselves. A very simple form of just earthing the patient with the help of one pin on his foot is going and earthing it directly to the ground is going to improve the health of that particular person. 
Lots of studies related to earthing have been done by the Earthing Institute. And maybe you can check on earthing, <coughs> human earthing, and you get on to many lists which are there related to earthing. In other words, the maximum benefit of the nadir direction is that you need to earth yourself. Now that you have to do at least for half an hour so that you don't have inflammation in your body. All your tissues work properly. Your body electricity goes to normal within no time. So sometimes when you go down and move to a seashore, have a walk on the beach, you feel better. When people go down to a temple, have a walk in the temple area, barefoot, they feel better. You go down to a church, touch your temple to the stone which is there at the chapel part, you feel better. All these things, or you offer namaz, maybe in open, touching to the ground, then you feel better. Now, all these elements have been inbuilt in our system so that people are healthy. But unfortunately, today, the number one enemy, which maybe Robert has said, is the introduction of shoes. And it has detached us from ground. Very, very rarely we are barefoot. And in today's scenario, as we are staying in upper floors, the body electricity buildup as you go on upper floors is much higher. So a person staying on 100th floor, is having more trouble than the person staying on the ground floor. And it's very easy for them to catch up with any disease related to inflammation. So if at all you have to reduce inflammation and maybe be okay in this situation of maybe general disease or pandemic or any other sort, then it is essential to have a ritual of earthing for at least half an hour on daily basis. If you do that, then you'll be getting the most health related benefit for which this whole series of the, this whole series of sessions are there. So we discussed something related to the other direction. I told you two areas which were important. One was, if at all, there are groundwater veins which are below your house, they radiate and get you into trouble, the negative side of it. And human earthing, which we never touch our ground, and if you touch the ground, going down in the open and touching it, then it will be possible. Most of the time people tell me as to how it is possible for you because our life is so busy and we cannot go down in the open. We don't have time in the, to go down in the open and touch or there is no ground at all in our particular area for, for <coughs> getting down and having the earthing part. So for that <coughs> one suggestion which one of our researchers had done was suppose this is your building this is your ground level. These are the different floors. Then on each floor, on each floor, floor, wherever there is balcony, open space. And if it's facing the eastern side or maybe western side or sunlight is coming in that particular area, then have a patch of a conductive material have a patch of a conductive material. Okay. Now connect this conductive material, all the conductive material to one wire and then take it down wherever there is elect non-electrical earthing over there, you earth it. Earth it. So now, when you are standing in over here or doing exercise or sitting for say puja or maybe just jogging, barefoot remember, 
part of the body touching this particular conductive surface. It is as good as you are on the earth's surface. So in most of our buildings, if at all we have this type of provision, then we need not go out for them. It will be beneficial to all the people in the building or in your house and you will get the benefit of earthing. So an honest request to all of you is that go out in the sun as we discussed in the east direction. Check your ground, check your house for any ground radiations which are there because of groundwater and maybe have a patch where there is no groundwater radiations with an conductive material. This conductive material is connected to that earth directly and once it is connected to that earth, you get the benefit even at the 100th floor. This if you do, then automatically you will be getting the healthier part of you. So friends, Maybe the most important directions and the most neglected direction is the Nadir direction. And that Nadir direction, if you sincerely do it, take care of it, automatically 90% of your problems related to the health issues get resolved. With this, thank you very much for your time and Keep on watching for the benefits of the other direction. Thank you very much.